If millennials are truly going to be the first real smart home generation, what's that going to look like? If your imagination is running to a 3D printer on the kitchen counter and a drone flying around the outside of the house and a humanoid robot bringing martinis, let's come down to earth. The top smart home devices already owned by millennials are a connected TV, a game console, and a streaming media device, sort of like everyone else. Those also top the list of smart home devices millennials are interested in getting around to buying, alongside thermostats, cameras and security gear, connected speakers, and lights, vacuums, and door locks, all kind of tied. Bottom of the list, connected personal care devices. I guess that's bad news for that artificial intelligence toothbrush I saw at CES. But millennials begin to look a little more unique in their unanimity in wanting all their smart home gear to work together, no questions, and to work with their connected wearable if they have one. The AARP generation, not so much. They're more focused on smart home as a remote control technology when they're not home. And privacy? That has its price. 70% of millennials are okay sharing their data in a smart home environment if they get back good recommendations about news, media, or fitness choices. Bottom line, by the end of 2017, across all demographics, even the most popular forms of smart home tech will be in fewer than 15% of U.S. homes. But by 2020, that reaches almost 30% and starts to feel more expected. Know what's next at CNET.com slash Next Big Thing. I'm Brian Cooley.